Hi, I'm Peter Kampfem of Kampfem.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I will show you how to overcome a shortcoming in Kanban Task Manager for SharePoint. As you see, this is the Kanban Task Manager for SharePoint here. And if you go into Site Contents, you'll notice that this application has added a few lists like the KTM Faces, KTM Projects, Responsibles, KTM Tasks, and so on. So if I go into the KTM Tasks now, you'll notice that this is a regular task list, and you can open each and every item here and modify all the settings and do everything that you would do with a normal list. However, you cannot add an item to a timeline, and actually there is no timeline on this list at all. If I I compare that to a regular task list that's just been created by going into site content and clicking on add an app. You'll see that this has the timeline and if I actually do go and create a task here and set a start date and due date on that and I click save. Now I can add this to the timeline and I can also do another thing here. I can create a subtask so I can have something that connects to the test one task like that. Test Two, for example, like that. So those features are regretfully so far unavailable in the KTM tasks list. So what I'm going to show you now is how to get around that limitation. So we'll go into settings here and just look at what's special with this KTM tasks list. As you see, it has a few extra fields here, a few extra lookup fields. The responsible, the sequence, the phase, and the project. Those are the extra fields. So what I'm going to do now is just take this built-in list, or the one that I just created, the custom list, and I'm going to change the name of that. So I'm going to call it the KTM tasks. Of course, we can't have two lists with the same name. So I'm just going to rename the one that our product uses first. So I'm going to rename that. I'll call that old, just to make sure we keep that separate. And then I'm going to go into tasks here, modify the list name of that, and just go ahead and change the name to the same KTM tasks, like that. Save. And now I'm, I need to add those columns. So I'm going to create the column phase, and that's going to be a lookup. against the KTM faces list, like that. And then again, I'm going to create another one called Responsible. And that's going to be a lookup against the KTM Responsibles list. And again, with the projects list. So another column called project. And that's going to be a lookup against the KTM projects list. So of course, you're beginning to see a pattern here. That's good. Uh, and now I'm just going to finally do the sequence one. And that's going to be a number column right there. And I'm going to click OK on that. Now, when I go into the Kanban Task Manager link here, that will display the new list. There we go, the test one and the test two are there. And they have the default face and the default responsible now. So that works. And now, of course, I can go into the site contents and remove this KTM tasks old if I don't want that anymore. If I already have existing data in that, which I want to move to the new list that I'm going to be using, I have to do that, or the best way to do that is actually to do it with Access. That has an, a rather excellent way of doing that. So I'm going to start Access here. This is 2013. And I'm just going to create a blank desktop database. Create the closest table one, 
and then I'm going to connect to a SharePoint list, which is in this site, this one right there. There. And I'm going to link to these two tables. I have. I'm going to log in first. I'm showing this on an Office 365 site, but of course it will work fine on premise too. The same techniques apply there too. And now I'm just going to do take this KTM tasks, KTM tasks old, and then I'm going to do a query. I'm going to create the query, and I'm going to take the information come from the KTM tasks old. And then I'm going to do an append query and append to the KTM tasks. And then I can just take all my information here, actually all the fields except the ID, which I'm not going to be copying over. So I can't do all of them. I just double click here. Some of those are actually not used. So let's do the ones that are used. Description. That should be about all, I think. Yeah, those are the important ones. So the title should go to the title too. The task name. Status should be go to the... I don't actually use the status. Let's remove that one. I don't think we have that here. No, we don't. So I remove that one. And that's actually not you needed in most cases. KTM task groups, or the task group, I'm not using that one. Otherwise, we are good to go here. All the fields are matched up. So now I can just do a run. Multi-valued field. Which one could that be now? Right, the assign to. I can't do that one. Hmm, that's correct, of course. I'm going to delete that one. And just run that again. And now that works much better. So you would have to um, manually reassign all the tasks after this update because you can't copy that information. So if I, let's refresh this now. You should see the KTM tasks should now have the 20 items here. And that's actually 22, the ones I created manually and the ones I imported via access. So that concludes this demo and now I have the tasks there and I can remove the KTM tasks old. And now the Kanban task manager will work as intended and show all the tasks in the Kanban board. But you can also go around the back, so to speak, and work with a timeline in whatever one way you want. So now that, that works fine. And I'm going to Site Contents and KTM Tasks. And there, there they are. Subtasks working. And if I just add some due date and, and um, that information too, I can go ahead and add this to a timeline or create uh, subtasks. So that concludes this rather lengthy demo. In the future we plan to make this simpler and we um, plan to make the default KTM task lists also support this SharePoint 2013 feature of course. Thank you for watching this demonstration.